Hey, what's going on, Solar Family? It's James here. Hopefully, you're doing amazing. And in this video, I want to go over the fastest way to get started in solar. So, this video is for you if you're looking into transitioning into solar, or maybe you already are in solar and you just started, you know, a few weeks ago. This is going to be really valuable information for you because I've been in solar for the last eight years, and seven years out of eight years in solar, I've been closing all my deals online. But if I was in your shoes and I had to start all over again, knowing what I know now, this is the information that I'm going to need to get on the ground running. Because this information that I'm going to share with you is going to be able to expedite your research a lot faster. And even if you go the traditional route, you will know exactly what questions to ask so you can get on the ground running as well. But before I dive into it, if you haven't scheduled your free solar strategy call yet, especially if you want to get in solar or maybe you already are in solar and you want to learn how to sell solar virtually online in your pajamas or you're a roofing or HVAC contractor that wants to add solar in your book of business, make sure you book your free solar strategy call. It's going to be a pop up right above this video. So we're going to dive right into it. Right, you're here because you're looking into transitioning into solar and you're determining whether or not this industry is good for you or maybe you already made the decision that you want to get in solar but you want to get on the ground running so i want to show you the traditional route versus the accelerated route and i honestly feel this is going to be the best option for you but you decide after this video which is the best for you so I have my notes here because I don't want to leave anything out. So as far as the traditional route, um, this is basically working for a solar company, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to submit applications, right? And go, go to interviews. And from there, you're going to get hired with a traditional solar company, right? So basically what this means is you're gonna have a boss. And for me personally, if I'm transitioning from a W2 position, meaning I already have a boss right now, at this point, I'm tired of having a boss, right? Uh, but again, because you're going the traditional route, you're gonna have a boss. And when you do start out, you're gonna start out as a canvasser for the most part. I want to say 90% of the time, unless you got some amazing sales experience, but still then you may still start out at the canvasser, no matter what your experiences are. So by starting out as a canvasser, you're going to have smaller commissions, right? Because you're the one knocking on the door and setting up appointments for the closer. So in this industry, there's a, a uh, setter, which is the canvasser, which are the ones getting the leads. And there's a closer, meaning that that setter will hand over that appointment to the closer to close the deal. And unfortunately, because you're a canvasser at this point, right? The traditional route, you're making a few hundred dollars, right? You're probably making, you know, a hundred to three hundred dollars from every deal that you set that closes okay hopefully you're, you're catching on so far so going through traditional route as you can see there's not much money to be earned at this point right and you, as a canvasser you're gonna have to put in your time because like i said before you get promoted you're gonna have to close a certain amount of deals right your leads has to cl close a certain amount before they promote you as the closer so you can be three to six months in before you can actually be the closer. So think about this, right? They're gonna have a quota for you. Maybe it's gonna be between five to 10 deals that you set that has to close. And before then, if you didn't hit the quota, you're gonna be knocking on doors and generating leads for the closer until you do. And normally, this takes about three to six months, right? And keep in mind, while you're doing that, you're only getting paid a few hundred dollars because you're the setter versus thousands of dollars if you're the closer, right? Hopefully, are you catching on here? For the comp plan, right? For the traditional route, 
most of the time there's going to be either an 80 20 split or there's going to be a 70 30 split meaning that the company is going to keep 20 percent and you keep 80 percent of your commission and keep in mind this could be infinite does that make sense this can be infinite meaning that you're going to have to split all your deals throughout your career with the solar company and imagine how much money that you're leaving on the table because you're giving away 30 to 20 percent of your total commission right as you can see that's pretty insane right but there is hope right there is hope here on the other side which i'll show you an accelerated way to get started so you're on the ground running because at the end of the day we're all here to help homeowners and because we're helping homeowners we all want to get paid right because we want to change our financial situation we want to upgrade to a better home, get a better car, have a better life for our family, right? Uh, let's, let's not sugarcoat it. That's what we're here for, right? Because at the end of the day, this is still a career. This is not a hobby, right? This is a career. So because you're also splitting a 80-20 uh, split, your red line as well, and if you don't know what a red line is, go check out my other videos. This red line is going to be pretty high. Because when you're just starting out, right, they're not going to give you the best comp plan ever when you're going the traditional route because they're just feeling you out to see whether or not you're going to stick. And unfortunately, this red line has to be the lowest as possible for you to maximize the margins so you can make as much money per deal as possible. But don't get me wrong. I want to clarify this. The red line is not a make or break kind of thing right? You're not always trying to find the lowest red line and that's all you're going to base your decision on whether or not you're going to work for a solar company. Don't get me wrong, right? I want to make that clear because there are some companies, the red line is higher, but they provide more value along with the red line. It's just like a car. If you bought a standard, you know, Toyota Corolla with the, the roll up windows, that's going to be a lot less than if you got a Toyota Corolla with all the bells and whistles, with the with the automatic windows, with AC, DVD player, whatever that may be, leather, leather seats, it's gonna be more expensive, but that Toyota Corolla has more value. Does that make sense? If you don't know what red lines are, make sure you check my other video, right? I'm not, I don't wanna talk about that here, but again, ideally, you want the lowest red line as possible, right? You want to get on a red line as well, as far as the commission structure. You don't wanna be on this split type of commission, you wanna go strictly on red line right strictly on red line so there can also be hidden management fees a lot of folks don't see this they don't really dive into it a little bit deeper and look at the contracts there can be you know a 700 800 a thousand dollar management fee for every single deal that you close when you're going with a split type of model okay Look into the agreements, look into contracts, because ideally this is also going to tie into your commission because obviously if there was no management fees, you'll be able to capitalize on those commissions. And keep in mind, this is the traditional route, right? This is the traditional. Um, and lastly, they're going to frown, frown upon you doing virtual sales, right? Because their business model as a traditional solar company is door to door. And that works and nothing wrong with door to door, nothing wrong with it. But if you want to transition more into virtual sales, first and foremost, they're gonna, not going to teach you how to do that. Cause I, I want to say 99% of the industry don't necessarily know how to do virtual sales. For me personally, that's all we do. And that's all we teach at solar university is how to be able to sell everything online. Because imagine being able to close a five to 10 to $15,000 solar system and you could literally be anywhere in the world, just as long as you have a laptop, a Wi-Fi connection, you're doing business. Rather than driving around every single day, stuck in traffic for hours at a time to meet with homeowners one by one. Imagine how many more homeowners you can meet if you're doing your sales virtually, okay? So that is the traditional route as far as getting started, and I honestly feel it's a slow track and don't get me wrong. If this is your first time looking into solar 
and you don't know much about solar, you don't know anything at this point about this industry until today. Now you're more educated. I'm gonna give you the lay down, the lay of this land. Uh, I'm not gonna be biased. As you can see in my videos, I am not biased. You can go any direction you please, but ideally, I'm pretty sure you would want a accelerated route. So let me paint a picture what an accelerated route looks like, right? So instead of working for a solar company, you're basically working direct, right? As you can see, because you're working direct, you have more flexibility, right? You have more finances because you don't have the overhead of a traditional solar company because you're going direct. Does that make sense? And there's no need to submit applications, right? No applications needed because you're going direct and you have a direct partnership with the solar company. So you're basically cutting out the middleman and you're going direct, okay? So make sure you're following along because it's really, really important because a lot of people are going down this route and I honestly feel there's a big transition into going the accelerator route, right? Depending on when you're watching this video. I'm making this video in October, 2022. So it all depends on when you're watching this video. But I honestly feel there's a big migration from going the traditional route, going through interviews, not getting paid well, to now going direct, right? And there are obviously caveats of being able to go direct, right? There's limitations on that as well. So if, if you wanna dive into how to do go direct, uh, make sure you book your free solar strategy call, right? It's gonna be a pop-up right above this video. So be your own boss, right? There's no boss. You're the boss, right? You're the boss. You make your own time, you make your own schedules, you make your own quotas. You make your own sales meetings with yourself or maybe you have a sales organization, which is amazing here as well, which you can do. Uh, you can do that. You can also build a sales organization here, but you're making a fraction of the override versus doing it yourself, right? I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. Um, instead of going door to door, right? You're getting online leads because now there's no restriction of you doing virtual sales. Obviously, there's a restriction here because there's a business model that works for the solar company, and I respect that. That works for them. But now since you're independent, you can do any kind of marketing that you want to do, okay? And you can sell the system on how you want to sell it. Whether you want to do it virtually, whether you want to go back and do it face-to-face, -face, you have that options. I love options. Hopefully you, you do as well, right? So the great thing as well, when you go the accelerator route, you start as a closer right from day one, okay? This is a big one. You start as a closer right from day one, just like our training. After our students finish our training, they're starting as a closer right from day one. So they don't have to like jump in through any hoops. We don't have any quotas where you have to, you know, set a certain amount of appointments that closes and that could be three or four or five or six months down the road. As soon as you finish the training, you're a closer right from day one. You're maximizing your commission right from day one. This is key. Okay, this is key because a lot of folks go this, this route and they actually end up leaving a lot more money on the table than just investing in themselves and going this route and becoming a closer right from day one. Because keep in mind, in this industry, I'm gonna let you know, there's very, very limited amount of training in this industry. As excited as you are when you get hired with a traditional company, they're gonna rush through your training. It's probably gonna be an hour or two long. And then from there, you're gonna go shadow, right? Somebody that just got started two to three weeks ago. And they're not quite successful right now in this industry. And why would you wanna shadow somebody that just got started as well, just like you? Think about that for a second. Because I honestly feel one key to success, to accelerate your success, is to learn from people that is light years ahead of you. Does that make sense? You wanna learn from folks that are light years ahead of you. Because if you're getting training from someone that just got started, that has very little results, 
then you're going to duplicate exactly the results that that person is uh, generating right now. Okay. Uh, that's just uh, the facts of, of getting ahead in any industry. Make sure that you learn from people that are way ahead of you, right? Way ahead of you. So the great thing is as well is there's no commission split. Meaning that you keep a hundred percent of your commission. Think about this, right? Think about this. Not only can you start a lot faster as a closer, so you can start making thousands of dollars with the leads that you're going to set anyway, versus a couple hundred dollars. There is no commission split. Meaning that if you made a $10,000 commission, which is common in Texas, and I'm going to keep this number super simple. And again, I'm not guaranteeing you that you're going to make this income, right? This is just for demonstrational purposes only. So for example, if you made a $10,000 commission in Texas, if you went the traditional route and it, keep in mind, that's going to take you probably six you know, months to achieve, to become a closer. Let's just say you're a closer now and you go with an 80, 20 split or a 70, 30 split, meaning that out of that $10,000 commission, you're only taking home $7,000. Sounds great, but would you rather take home $7,000 or would you rather take home $10,000 because you're keeping 100% of your commission? Yes, $7,000 is a lot of money, even with a split, but why would I leave 30% of the table where I can make 10,000 instead of 7,000? And think about this throughout your whole entire career. Okay, let's keep the, the numbers simple. So for example, if you close 10 deals in a whole entire year and it's a $10,000 commission, you literally just left $30,000 on the table, right? $30,000 on the table because you're splitting a 70-30 split with a solar company. Does that make any sense to you, right? I, I, I don't think so. So hopefully you're starting to understand that the accelerated route is a lot better it's a lot faster. There's also no hidden fees. Who the heck wants hidden fees, right? Because as working for a traditional company, there are management fees that you don't see. It's all baked in already in your commission. So the great thing is because this is your own organization, it's your own partnership, there's no hidden fees. You also, again, have the option to sell the deals virtually. Right? There's no restriction. You can do it face to face. You can sell the deals virtually. It's your organization. You could sell it how you want, right? It's you're the boss versus here. You're not the boss. You have a boss here. Here you are the boss. Does that make sense? You are the boss when you accelerate your route. Okay. Um, you can also build a team. This is what I highly recommend when you're closing five to 10 deals yourself consistently. And keep in mind as well, with Solar University, we set you up for success. Meaning that we're gonna teach you how to build a team, but we want you to be successful first. We wanna help you become successful. So we may have to delay building a team, you know, three to four to six months out, which is absolutely fine. When you're starting out, you're going to have to be selfish and you're going to have to close the deals yourself first and you have to have a personal financial stability first in your life before you start recruiting people. There are certain organizations right now, as soon as you join an organization, the first thing they tell you is to go recruit, right? And keep in mind that it's very difficult to learn this, the solar industry, all the processes, the, the sales and everything that goes on around it and also recruit. And now because they're not setting you up the right way, now your attention is, is diverted into many different direction. Now you're trying to learn the systems, the sales, the pitch, objections, and then now in the back of your, your ear, they're also telling you to go recruit, recruit, recruit. How are you going to recruit when you don't have the results yet? And keep in mind, since your attention is now you know, split into two activities, now your personal production is going to drop. Does that make sense? I see this all the time. For example, we had a closer and the only thing he was doing was closing deals. 
right? He was making, you know, 10 to 15 deals every single month. He was probably making between 50 to $75,000 worth of commission every single month. And again, this, these, these are just based on our results. I'm not saying anything that you're going to make this kind of income. This is his results. And he was strictly focused on closing deals. And then he decided not only does he want to close deals, he also wants to build a team. And as he's building a team, guess what? His production starts dropping. But it was okay for him because he understood that it's going to take a little bit of time to build a team, but he only also has a nest egg, right? Even if his production dropped, he's closing 10 to 15 deals anyway, making 50 to $75,000. And even if he cut it in half and he only closed five deals in a month, he's totally fine in his situation to build a team because now his attention is going to be somewhere else instead of closing deals. And that's exactly what happened. His production started dropping, but again, in his situation, he was already closing deals. He's already a solar pro. But when you're just starting out, your full undivided 100% focus should be just getting leads, closing them, and changing your financial life first before you decide, just like George, to build a team because he was already financially set. But to set you up properly, like with solar, our solar university students, we have a time frame. We're not gonna tell you to go recruit when you have no money in the bank account right now, right? Because imagine getting a couple hundred dollars worth of overrides from a team versus a couple thousand dollars from your own production. So at this point, it has to be all within your production, okay? Hopefully that's making sense. Um, because keep in mind, when you're building a team, and the traditional solar company, you're probably getting a couple hundred dollars worth of override. It can be from even, even as low as $35. I was talking to a solar rep a couple days ago, and he said that he was getting a $35 override from every deal that his sales team sells. Think about that. I know some other companies, you're getting a $300 override, from every deal that your sales team sells. But imagine, imagine when you're in the accelerator route, instead of making $35 or $300 a deal from every deal that your team sells, imagine making a thousand or $1,500 from every deal that they sell, right? Because that's the way you're gonna accelerate your financial success in solar you need a high income override rather than making two, three hundred dollars an override. Imagine getting three times to four times more than that. Okay. Hopefully this is sinking in with you guys. And I know this is a lot of information, you know, that I'm pouring at you all at once, but I really need you to understand that this is the direction that is going to be the most fruitful for you, especially if you're planning on closing deals because based on what i know now in the industry of eight years worth of experience if i had to start over again i'll definitely get in this vehicle as fast as i freaking can okay so if you want to dive in deeper and you want to learn how to accelerate your success in the solar industry make sure you book your free solar strategy call it's gonna be a pop-up right above this video other than that have an amazing day goodbye for now peace